So the Jaffe Food Allergy Institute is a place where we have very high level uh, care for patients who have complex or simple food allergies, but also we take care of children who have any allergic disease, so asthma, allergic skin rashes, anaphylaxis or severe allergic reactions, hay fever, any types of allergies or asthma, we take care of that as well. But we especially emphasize our work on food allergy. We do research, we do um, the management of food allergy and diagnosis, and uh, really are cutting edge in that area. So there's a lot of excitement about research in food allergy. Um, we're one of the cutting edge locations for research of all types, looking at better diagnostic methods, at better treatment methods, and trying to figure out how you can prevent allergy, so, and, and also how many people are affected and why. So we're doing all sorts of research, but the most exciting is often the treatment studies. The current treatment for food allergy is to just avoid the food. Don't eat it if you're allergic to it. It's pretty straightforward. And unfortunately, if you accidentally eat the food, you could have an allergic reaction, a potentially severe or life-threatening allergic reaction for, for many people. And so it becomes very serious. And the treatment for a severe allergic reaction today is to give a shot of adrenaline or epinephrine. Um, these come as auto-injectors that our patients would be carrying if they have a diagnosis of a severe or life-threatening food allergy. So the current treatment isn't that great. Avoid the food, have medicine ready to treat a problem breathing and get to the emergency room to get more care. We would really like to have something that's more definitive. So we have a variety of studies underway. Currently, ones that we're adding uh, participants to is an interesting study for milk allergy. We find that we can give gradually increasing amounts of milk to people to try to get their immune system used to it. Don't try that at home, of course, because it could cause a severe reaction. But we do this under supervision very gradually and are studying uh, this. It's not a treatment that's uh, routinely available. It's a, tr it's a treatment trial. But we're also combining it with the use of an injection that's called anti-IgE that sucks up some of the allergy proteins that cause problems for people. And we're trying to see if this combined approach will be effective. Another study that we're currently recruiting for is a study actually of a Chinese herbal therapy used for food allergy. Now this was something that was devised by one of our doctors here, Xu Min Li, who actually studied uh, traditional Chinese medicine in China, um, where it's called medicine. <laughs> but here we think of it as traditional Chinese medicine, something different. But she uh, concocted uh, a combination of treatments that in a model of mice that are made allergic to peanut, it made their allergy go away. And it, seem to work for several different types of food. So it doesn't seem to be specific to one particular food. So we already completed a safety trial of this, and now we're doing a treatment trial to see if that works. And you can look uh, up these and other trials that we're doing at uh, our websites or at clinicaltrials.gov websites to get more information. But we have a variety of studies going on trying to get better uh, maybe vaccine therapies, uh, and also looking at whether there are different ways of giving the protein that someone's allergic to them in different ways that might not trigger an allergic reaction, but make, makes the, hopefully will make their body accept the food so that they can eat it again. Right now, though, the idea is avoidance.